get so locked into the idea center, the mind center, the thinking center. And, you know, anybody who comes here for any amount of time knows about this. That pushing the clear button, letting go of the ideas and conditions and the, the opinions and belief. Just like this. Boom. Out of the mind realm into don't know. Just listening, just seeing, just smelling, just tasting, allowing our deep intuition to open up. Mm -hmm. It's from not knowing that we can really enter into the moment that we're in. Many people love the holiday of Thanksgiving because it's not religious. It's not about any idea. It's about love. It's about compassion. It's about remembering to give thanks for what it is that has given sustenance in our lives. And of course, in the true sense, Thanksgiving Day is every day. One person's Thanksgiving is the other person's day of regret. Zen Master Sung San used to say around this time of year, he said, Thanksgiving is a very bad day for turkeys. <clears throat> People like to eat turkeys, but if you're a turkey, you're dead. One person's happiness is often another person's sadness. If you watch a competitive sporting event, one person's Great joy is paired with another person's great sorrow. One person's great victory is another person's great loss. So, how do we cut through the dualism of that and truly give thanks, truly give back? It comes from here. That point opens us to see other people in their situation and recognize that other people are the same as us. So that's true thanksgiving. Recognizing that if I grab something from you, you lose something. So giving thanks is treating the world as we treat ourselves. Or as we simply say here, Helping all beings, letting go of the egocentric sense of I, and being aware of the world around us, and recognizing that the world around us is not separate from us. We train in this room to let go, to open up, and not to intellectually understand it, but to get it here. <laughs>